Hi everyone, my name is Rafat. I'm a systems architect here at Cisco. Hi everyone, my name is Tehreem Tungekar and I'm a solution support associate at Lumen Technologies. Our topic for today's demo is Alexa WebEx bot deployment. So Tehreem, can you tell us a little bit more about this project? What problems are we trying to solve with this? Sure. So often developers have these exciting and amazing ideas about creating bots. But the real struggle is when they have to go through different steps in order to get their bot up and running. So what we are trying to do here is we are trying to make this process easier by automating it. So by just giving one single voice command, developers would be able to deploy their bots. Wow, that sounds pretty exciting. Are we actually able to see this live in action today? Sure. So here I am in the Alexa developer console, and I'm going to command Alexa by saying, Alexa, ask my Lambda to deploy the bot. Take a look. Thanks. So while this build is running, let's take a look under the hood and see what's really going on here. So this is a user like you and I, and it's going to command Alexa by giving a single voice command. And once Alexa is invoked using this voice command, it's going to trigger an AWS Lambda function. Now, Lambda functions are serverless, so we are going to harness that service, serverless capability of AWS Lambda. And uh, that way, we don't need to pre-provision resources. They are going to be automatically created once the Lambda function is triggered. So in this case, our Lambda function is going to create a CI CD pipeline with the help of Service CI. Now, I have already put my a WebEx bots code in a GitHub repository. So Circle CI is going to pull that code from my GitHub repository, dockerize it using my Docker container, and then going to deploy it on Heroku. Now, once our app is up and running on Heroku, what we can do is try and test it in the WebEx Teams client. That sounds really exciting. I can't wait to see this in action today. Sure, but before that, let's see if our build was successful or not. So let's go to our Circle CI's dashboard and see if our build was successful. And yes, it was successful. Great. Now let's go to the Heroku app and yeah, our bot is up, which is great. Yeah, cool. Then I get the only step remaining is to actually verify if the bot is doing what it's supposed to be doing. So mm -hmm. we are here in our Teams app, uh, the WebEx app, and this is the bot that we're going to be using for our testing. I'm just going to give it a few basic commands and see if this actually works. So I'm going to ask it to tell me a joke. And yeah, looks like it works. It's responding with a joke. I'm also going to ask it to create a room and see if it's able to do that. And yep, yeah, looks like that works as well. It's able to create a new room. So we'd just like to conclude by saying that the possibilities over here are unlimited. Like you could have your bot created to do the most of the amazing tasks. But as you guys already saw, the intent of our project was Using a single voice command, we were able to do all of this deployment with no user intervention whatsoever. We hope this session has been informative. Thank you so much. Thank you, everyone.